Hey guys, welcome back. Recording here from Thailand. Amazing day today. Very nice views. I hope this uh, the audio is okay with the headphones that I'm using. Should be alright. So, a little update here on the markets. Uh, nothing crazy is happening really, that's why I'm not uh, screen sharing. Uh, Bitcoin is pulling back, but nothing crazy. I mean, it's gone up like 100% uh, in a very short period of time. So the least it can do is retrace 50% of this parabolic movement. So it can go down to 11,000, 10,000, and it'll be normal. And even 8,000, I mean, I, it's just a normal pullback in my opinion. I think it's gonna find support at some level and bounce, and the dip is gonna, the dip is going to be bought again. Uh, remember, you always have to assume continuation. And if we were going to enter a bear market, it would still bounce hard and try to break the all-time highs once more, at least. So. Uh, you know, whatever the whatever the the situation is going to be, it's gonna bounce anyway by probability. I mean, of course, it could go all the way down to zero now if something catastrophic catastrophic happens. But by probability, it's going to bounce anyway. So there's no reason to sell at this uh, you know at this time. I think the momentum is still there. It'll continue to go up. So yeah, there's no reason to freak out, at least as, as of today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Bitcoin Cash, why, why I support it and uh, why I think about the Lightning Network. So basically, the Lightning Network for the, this is for the new people, not for the new people to the channel, but more for the new people to the crypto space in general. If you don't know what the Lightning Network is, a simple way to put it is just take, for example, the Internet itself. So the Internet is open for everyone to use, right? Anyone anywhere in the planet can be a part of this network as long, uh, so long as you have a device, a computer, a phone or any device that has capabilities to connect to the internet it, it, if it has the hardware and the software uh, to to be able to connect to the internet then anyone can can connect to the internet it's free open source for everyone right wrong you still have to go through uh, an internet provider therefore it's not free you have to go through a private company if you are in the United States, maybe you are going to use AT&T or whatever the company you use there. In Australia, you're going to use Optus or whatever the company you want. In Spain, it's going to be Telefonica, Movistar, whatever. Here in Thailand, it's DTAC or... I mean, you, you have to go through a, an internet provider, which are private companies, which you have to pay fees for them to allow you to connect and be part of the network, right? So the Lightning Network, it's something similar. If you want to transact through the Lightning Network with Bitcoin, you're going to have to pay fees to this private company, which is, it's a private network, basically. It's not, it's not anymore peer-to-peer, wallet-to-wallet, like Bitcoin, it's supposed to be. Uh, the Lightning Network, it's not going to work that way anymore. And, uh, if you want to use their network, you're going to have to pay fees to this company and able to use the network. Now, I don't say, I'm not saying this is bad. I mean, if you are okay with this and if you are okay, you like the service and you want to pay the fees, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's the way you run business, right? You're not going to be working for free. No one should be working for free. So it's fine it's just another business and if you like it and if you like the business model then go for it pay your fees and use the network but don't call it decentralized because there's nothing that can there's nothing more centralized than that it is a private company you're going to have to pay fees to apart from mining fees it has nothing to do with miners it's a private company you're going to have to pay if you want to use their services which is the lightning network so, 
once the Lightning Network is implemented, if it's implemented one day, I guess they will, they will try to rush it now because now they have competition, which is Bitcoin Cash, well, and other altcoins as well. Uh, so far, they didn't have any competition. That's why they have been delaying it so long. They, they, they didn't want to do, they didn't want to do it because uh, the, the um, reason for it, the intention is that they need the original chain, the legacy chain, the BTC chain, the chain, they need the chain to be as slow as possible, as expensive, expensive as possible, and as unusable as possible for as long as possible before they implement the Lightning Network. Because when the Lightning Network is implemented, if it happens, you will still have the choice to use the Lightning Network or the legacy chain. You still, you know, you could still uh, continue to operate your normal Bitcoin transactions on the legacy coin, on the legacy chain, the BTC chain, you can still choose to do that. But if they delay it long enough, if it becomes more and more popular and it's, um, it gets more and more slow over time, more and more expensive, more and more unusable, there will come the point where, yeah, you have the choice to choose Lightning Network or the legacy chain, but at that point, the legacy chain would be so unusable, so useless that you, you, it's like, yeah, you have the choice to choose either one, but you really don't have a choice because the legacy chain, it's not usable anymore. So even if you wanted to, it's not going to be usable. So it's like they give you the choice, but you really don't have a choice. They want you to use the Lightning Network so that they, so that they, can, they can make their money back because now they're spending so much money in research, in experimentation, in uh, development. They're paying a lot of employees to, to develop this Lightning Network. So obviously, they're going to they, they're gonna want to make their investment back, right? There's big companies investing there. They're going to want to have their money back and more, obviously. So the more they delay it, the more unusable uh, the legacy chain becomes, the more people will be forced to use the Lightning Network and the more money they will make, right? It sounds like democracy a little bit, you know, you have the, you have the choice to, cho to choose your president, but which one is worse? You don't know. So it's something like that. Now, uh, the reason they're rushing it now is because before they didn't have any competition. Uh, Bitcoin, BTC, had 80 or 90% of the dominance uh, within the whole crypto market, but since this year, in 2017, it became so unusable that people started to use other coins. And especially since Bitcoin Cash was launched, now they have real competition. So if they don't hurry up, people is going to get fed up, stop using the legacy chain and go for Bitcoin Cash. So now they really have to hurry up. That's why now they're releasing the testnet and they are doing all kinds of developments lately. So to me, it's very clear and I struggle to believe that people don't see this. I struggle to believe people will be blind to this for much longer. And as I said before, if you like the Lightning Network, if you like the business model, then go ahead and use it. That's one more business. If the free market prefers it, fine, but just don't call it decentralized. Now, why Bitcoin Cash is not centralized because there's a lot of propaganda and, and a lot of people talking bullsh bullshit about Bitcoin Cash. Their only arguments is uh, it's like, uh, well, the biggest argument it's just one word, Bitrash, or another word, Bcash. That's all their argument usually. But it's sometimes also, or sometimes the argument they will use is Bitrash is, is centralized. Well, B Bitcoin Cash cannot be centralized. If talking about the mining, for example, the mining for Bitcoin Cash cannot be more centralized than the mining for Bitcoin Core because it uses the exact same protocol. It uses the exact same, uh, you need the exact same resources to mine one or the other one. And that really is open for everyone to mine. Like anyone anywhere in the planet can start mining Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash at any time without, uh, without asking for permission to anyone. So the fact that you don't do it, it's because it's not going to be profitable for you to mine in your house using your PC. It's not profitable anymore. But if you have the money, the time and the knowledge, you could start a mining farm anywhere in the planet anytime 
for Bitcoin or for Bitcoin Cash. It doesn't matter. So one cannot be more centralized than the other one. That just doesn't make any sense at all. And the other argument, if you are thinking about Bitcoin Cash is centralized because it has an, it has an owner or a CEO, that's just not true. Bitcoin Cash has developers, just like Bitcoin BTC had developers all this time since it was created. So anyone can develop for one or the other one. The fact that someone came up with the idea, that the fact that someone came just in time to save the chain by forking it off, that doesn't make them an owner. They are only, you know, they just uh, forked the chain to save it you know to maintain the original chain but that doesn't mean they are the owners they have no say in the in the actual you know development or in any changes they want to make they still need consensus from the mining from the miners just like btc outside the lightning network lightning ne the lightning network is another thing is a private company is a private network but if we talk about the legacy chain the btc chain it's still decentralized. It will it will continue to be decentralized forever. You will have the ch the choice to use that decentralized chain or the Lightning Network. The problem is that the decentralized chain it'll be unusable because they uh, because there's no consensus to upgrade the uh, up, uh, make the blocks bigger. So to make any changes in the in the bitcoin cash uh, ch uh chain or protocol you still need consensus from the miners you you cannot uh, there's no owner or ceo or anyone that can uh, do any 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 change there unless there's consensus so no one really controls bitcoin cash in the other hand the lightning network is controlled by individuals individuals and companies and it seems to me they're gonna sell it to you like it's free but it won't be free really uh, we have to see how it goes but i think bit i think the lightning network will be government friendly and there's a reason for it because it, it, since it's a private company the government can regulate it very easily because it's one point of attack you know there's one point of attack the government can go there with their guns and with their threats and make them do whatever they say it has to be regulated this way and they will have to comply but for bitcoin cash no government can do that because it's decentralized so i think bitcoin will become uh, government friendly so long as you use the lightning network and that could help uh, push it mainstream in my opinion that's horrible but you know the average person they're just happy paying their taxes and they, they still think the government is here to protect them and, and uh, to do things the right way. So it's possible that they, they, will, they will do it, they will make sure that people use it. That's why I wanted to make this video, you know, to, to inform people a little bit more, not to talk trash about the Lightning Network or, or the Bitcoin uh, core team, not to talk shit about them, but at least you have a more uh, neutral opinion and then you can decide for yourself now, um, and another thing the way the lightning network works is uh, that you're not going to be transacting with real bitcoins anymore you are going to be sending bitcoins to a special address for the lightning network and they are going to lock lock away your bitcoins yours or mine or anyone that uses the network all our bitcoins will be locked away uh using cryptography and then they will give you back it's some sort of like ious like it's a different token a different thing that it's not bitcoin and then and then you can use that to transact to to do mic micro transactions it's like we can compare it uh perfectly with gold gold when centuries ago when it was used as money gold it became so valuable because it was scarce it became so valuable that it was not useful as a medium of exchange anymore because for a piece of gold like this it was very very big and very heavy you could not pay for small things because it was very very dif difficult to divide in small parts so someone came up with the idea saying okay give me your gold i will lock it for you i will protect it for for uh, for you i will keep it safe for a small fee and in in return i will give you these pieces of paper if you, for example, if you bring a, a big 
heavy piece of gold like this, they will give you 10 pieces of paper and the value of these 10 pieces of paper equals the value of this one piece of gold. So now you can spend your papers, like if they were gold, to buy a smaller things without having to divide the big piece of gold. So that's what's happening with Bitcoin and when, with the Lightning Network. What, uh, what they intend to do is make Bitcoin so heavy and so uh, expensive that you cannot use it for a small uh, transactions to pay for a smaller things. So now their idea is, why not do like banks do? I'll keep your gold, so I'll keep your big, big, your big, heavy, valuable, expensive Bitcoin. I will lock it away for you, keep it secure, and in return, I will give you 10 IOUs that you then can, can spend in a small little things. And that is exactly how the Lightning Network works. But your Bitcoin, it's going to be locked away and you will be using IOUs. It, technically, you can redeem your Bitcoin anytime you want. Let's see how, how it develops, if it ever happens. But that's the whole idea of the Lightning Network. And uh, the, the atomic swaps that they call atomic swaps, um, it's funny how they found this name, like atomic swaps, like if it was magic, like by magic, they, you know, the, your Bitcoin converts into Litecoin by magic, like, a, like it's an atomic swap. There's nothing magical there. there. Any coin that uses the Lightning Network will function the same way. So they will, lock, they will lock away your coins, whether it's Bitcoin, Litecoin, or any coin that uses the Lightning Network, they will lock away all these coins uh, in a cryptographic way. And then when you wanna change Bitcoin for Litecoin, all they're gonna do is give you IOUs of this Litecoin that they, that they have in reserve uh, you know, and they will take your IOUs of Bitcoin and give you IOUs of Litecoin of all, all, of all this Bitcoin and Litecoin that they have in reserve locked away in a special address. So that's how that works. So it, for what we can see in history, almost any time in history, every time a bank or an institution decided to implement this system where they keep your assets <clears throat> and give you IOUs. Every time that's been um, tested, in almost every time in history, it turns out that the central authority that's keeping the asset uh, started to print more IOUs than the gold they had in reserve. So that's happened every time they did. So <clears throat> looking at history, I think it, that's what's going to happen with Bitcoin. That's how Bitcoin is going to, you know, become centralized and just become like a bank. It's like becoming fiat money again. There's no difference in the system that they use there. So that's the reason why I support Bitcoin Cash. I'm against all these things. I mean, but if you like it, I believe in the free market. So anyone can choose whatever they like. But at least be informed. Uh, before you make a decision or before you believe all the hating comments, uh, you know, saying be cash, be trash, the centralized this and that, it's not, it cannot be centralized. Uh, the Lightning Network is. Now, I think that's all, guys. I'm going to leave the video here. I'm going to finish my beer and I'm going to go for a walk in the beach. I might be a little bit busy from next week. Maybe I won't be able to update that often. I'm going to have visits here for a month but yeah i'll keep you updated anyways all right guys thanks for watching see you soon bye